That is nuts. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 mod. As you can see, guys, it is, uh, oh, he fell. Um, but if you guys are new here, please do consider subscribing as I do upload a lot of GTA 5 mods. Um, just like the one you were watching, if you've been here, if you've been sticking around, if you're a subscriber, I appreciate you guys a lot. So for this one, guys, it is a, it is kind of a fun one. It's, uh, pretty much a ninja mod. As you can see, I was hanging on the wall, or I should say this light post, and I could jump around and look like this. Like I'm just flipping and doing front flips. <laughs> uh, this mod is interesting i just really want to just showcase this mod for you and show you guys how to install it it's a uh, it's fun for the most part i've never seen anything like it i don't know how i never thought about downloading a ninja mod i feel like I'm, i pretty, pretty much feel like i'm spider-man i don't know about you guys but it's, i mean the way he hangs on the wall right? i mean without the, the gun that actually has a lot of things installed and i was actually surprised about all the things you can do like how you know how we're just grabbing onto someone <laughs> yeah um all right i couldn't get up there anyways so a couple things this mod can do guys so pretty much how you want to toggle is by hold up uh, pressing the shift control and the z key on the keyboard at once so as you can see guys you got to press it at all at the same time so right now i just disable this so if i press shift control and z at the same time again it'll enable it so just so you guys know that is how you enable it and also the instructions on um, the different things you can do is are on the actual mod website or uh, then the, the description so you can do that uh, so obviously you jump every single jump you do will be like this with, uh, you know front flips uh, you can grab an opponent or anybody nearby by pressing T on the keyboard so if I press T the letter T I'll hold on to them so that's how I was holding on to that last person and you can actually jump around with that person and uh, you know scare the living crap out of them <laughs> uh, if i press t again what else can i do so i guess i can throw them oh my lord i did not uh try that yet <laughs> i'll do this one again so uh while i'm holding on to someone i could also do if i press if i jump and press t in the air oh my gosh yeah this one's a kind of a gory one <laughs> um you should mix this one with uh <laughs> Um, that gore mod that I have on my channel, I'll put it at the top. Um, dismemberment gore mod, that one. If I press T again, I'm gonna hold it to someone again. So if I press Q, so if I jump, press Q. Q oh my gosh, he just launches him. Let's do it again. This, this mod is just weird. <laughs> in, a, in a good way. It's just weird in a good way. <laughs> so if I jump again and then press Q instead of T. You just launch them. And then, oh, they're, they're fine. See, that one's the safe one. That one's called the bullet uh, bullet throw. So another one is press T with aim key and bare hand. So oh my gosh. So I guess you can throw fire too. <laughs> so I think I gotta. So if I aim and press T, he breathes fire. So. <laughs> pretty cool pretty neat like oh come on all right guys and then another thing you can do too is if you hold on to the weapon wheels you can see it says ninjutsu uh, water style so you have a couple different options that you can change here so I just had the fire right so I breathe fire so if I press T or hold the weapon wheel and press T it'll change right so right now I have the weapon style so now if I do the same thing so if I like aim right now I'm using a controller so if I press oh, the left trigger and then press T there's a different move every time, so <laughs> that's nuts. Here, I'm gonna do it over here. That is nuts. That is actually that is that is awesome. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that is pretty cool. And I'm, all right, I'm gonna change now to the earth style. So, if I weapon wheel, press T, do it again. So, if I do this, same thing. Yeah, that's like, uh, that didn't even do much. It didn't even do much. Let's try it again. It's like a Hulk smash. So. Ooh, it just, it just makes them all jump. Maybe I gotta get closer. Come on. Yeah. I don't know. It's not the same. The, the water one is definitely the coolest one. So. And then again, guys, you can change the T in the mod, so. That's pretty much it, guys. This mod is definitely interesting. It's fun. I would definitely install this mod. 
uh, and the good thing about this mod too is that it's actually pretty easy to install so you know i just want to try it one more time this is actually fun the water one oh my gosh how did i get closer right here right oh this is perfect right here watch watch please <laughs> oh, that is cool that is cool that is actually really cool that's fun. that's a lot of fun <laughs> I'm gonna do it one more time because I can't get enough of this. Up close, up close. Oh, that's that's unfortunate. So, all right, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, feel free to mess around with this mod. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and I'm actually gonna show you guys how to install it now, so I'll be right with you guys. All right, guys, welcome back. So this is the mod. It's called the Ninja Master uh, .net. So pretty much what you need for this mod is obviously Scripted Five um, and Scripted .net. Make sure you do have the newest version of Scripted .net, which is version three. Pretty much it. So once you have those, uh, you're gonna click download. Download again. And then also guys, uh, if you go back to the website, uh, the, I'll have this in, linked in the description, but if you go down, I'm gonna show you all the controls. So here's everything. So mess around with it, have fun with it. And there's that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. So, uh, where is it? Where's okay. So here it is. So this is the mod, right? Uh, once you download it and you open it up, this is what you're gonna look at. Make sure you extract it, because if you don't extract it, it will not work. So I just want like to say that, repeat that, make sure you guys get that in your head. Um, but I'm sure a lot of you guys already know that. So, but anyways, uh, so this is the mod, right? This is the mod. Extracted these are the files that you need. All you're gonna want to do, guys, is go to OpenIV. All right, so I have OpenIV opened up right now. I am in the roots. Go inside of your scripts folder, and then just drag it in there. And that's it guys, that's it. As you can see, I have the Ninja Master GTA any and the DLL file. And that's it guys, you guys are all done. Uh, to activate it again, press Shift, Control, and Z at the same exact time on your keyboard. It'll stay enabled. And that's it guys. And again, if you don't have the scripts folder, just hit here, get new folder, name it scripts. Um, you could, let me just name it, name it right. lowercase, it'll work fine. Um, so it'll be empty for you, of course, doesn't matter. Um, so, you know, everyone's might be different depending on the mods that you have in here. So, once you create it, go inside and click it. Go and click inside of it, right? So, it's a folder. Double click. Drag and drop. And that's it. Simple as that. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this mod. Um, if you guys have any questions at all, let me know. And, you know, let me know if you guys want to see in the future. Give this video a thumbs up. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one, right? Take care.